Shopify has released even more brand new free themes for your Shopify store that you can use right now. Today I wanna to look specifically at one of them that I think is really great for online apparel stores. That's coming up. What's up everybody, let's dive right in. Shopify has released Shopify Online Store 2.0, that's been out for a while, and with that, they released some new themes, and they've actually added more themes recently to the free theme section in the Shopify theme store. And these are the free themes that they have available. You see Dawn, which comes preloaded on every Shopify store. We have Refresh, Craft, Sense, Ride, Taste, Studio, Crave, and then Color Block. Now they initially came out with a few of these and they've just recently added more. And so today, I specifically wanna to talk to you about this color block theme. Now to start this off, if you are out there, maybe you're a beginner and you're thinking, do I need a paid theme? My answer would be probably not. In most cases, you don't need a paid theme to get started. And the Shopify free themes are actually really, really good. Uh, even for building your business up to you know, a very high revenue amount, you can use these free themes. And that's what I've done. I've always used a free Shopify theme on my stores. I've always had really good luck and I haven't run into a lot of issues. Now, if you're needing something super custom, you're needing something that has certain features, you might wanna go with a paid theme, but I think most everybody starting out, building your first store, wanting to get your first few sales, you should start with a free theme and they're gonna be more than enough, more than what's needed, even on these free themes. So today, I wanna take a look at this color block theme. I've talked a lot about Dawn uh, and what it offers and why it's pretty good for apparel stores. But recently, since they've released this color block theme, I've been starting to use color block more and more, and I think I like it a little bit better than Dawn for apparel stores. Let's start off by just looking at some of the features. So this is color block in the theme store. Again, this is completely free, and it says a striking theme ideal for high-end fashion. Here's what's funny about that. I feel like this color block theme feels kind of like the old school Shopify themes to me. It feels simpler than the Dawn theme. And I think that's why I like it more. And so when they say it's ideal for high-end fashion, it actually doesn't feel as high-end fashion-y as the Dawn theme to me. Uh, some of the features you see here, quick menu, mega menu, sticky header, and then we can see all the features down uh, as we scroll down. And what I like about the Shopify theme store, they've made some updates in here. They've actually added uh, a lot more information right here on the front. It was very, actually very, Minimal. They weren't telling you a lot about the theme, but they've added some more specifics here. So you see this, this theme is great for editorial content, longer form text sections, it has quick setup, which is great. Visual storytelling, it's designed to showcase more images and support visual brand storytelling, as well as a lot of other things that you see here. A lot of these are specific to the color block theme, and there's a lot of really, really good stuff in here. If we take a quick look at the demo store, you see that this theme is really set up to be visual. Now, the first thing I like is, as I've mentioned, is it feels kind of like an old school Shopify theme to me. The way it's set up, the simplicity, the, how clean it is, it kind of feels like one of the old school Shopify themes, which I really liked. And as we scroll down, you see they're using a lot of big images, different size images to really bring this visual aspect to it. But overall, I think it's really clean, it's really simple, and that's what I like most about it. And it's the same story when we get over to the product page. When we look at a t-shirt here on the product page, as we look at this, it really does feel like a traditional Shopify website, uh, but there are additional things you can do with it due to the new Shopify 2.0 website editor, which we'll jump into in a minute. Uh, yeah, there's some additional things you can do to really spice it up, to really make it fresh and new. Over here in the Shopify editor, this is just a test store where I like to change things and test things out. And I've been really happy with this color block theme as I've been really playing with it. Now, if you weren't if you weren't aware, Shopify has come out with Hey, do you need some additional help getting your Shopify store built and set up? I wanna invite you to download our free Shopify 13 step cheat sheet. This has 13 steps that you need to go through before you launch your Shopify store. It's a super helpful tool that's been downloaded by thousands and thousands of people and you can get it completely free over at shirtschool.com slash cheat sheet. Check it out. If you weren't aware, Shopify has come out with so many new features recently, but one of those features is this visual editor. You see as I scroll my mouse over different parts, it highlights those sections. And we can click on any of these sections to bring up the features of that section and we can change things. I really like how visual it is, how we can just click on things, we can hit the plus button, we can move things around right here in the editor. I think it's a really satisfying way 
uh, to actually edit your pages. And it's made things a lot simpler. And I can tell recently that Shopify has been really working on and optimizing this whole experience. One of the things they've added is they've actually moved the theme settings over here to the left side uh, so that it, you know, it used to be on the right side. They moved over here to the left side. So they're making a lot of changes and they're really improving uh, what you can do. One thing that's interesting is specifically when you compare the themes to each other, they are very similar with what you can do with the themes, right? If you spend enough time with, with each theme, whether that be Dawn or Color Block or any of the other themes, you can make them all look very similar. There's not like a ton of specific things to each theme that can't be edited. That's one of the things I really like about the new themes and about the new editor is they are very, very, very customizable. You can change pretty much anything about this theme. And if we go to, if we just hit this add section button, you're gonna see there's a ton of stuff here and all of it is very, very editable. Another thing I love is that you can just move things around. And so I wanna mention that, that you know, no matter what theme you go with, you can pretty much customize them enough to make them look like one another if you wanted to or whatever the case may be. They're all very customizable. But what the color block theme gives you is it gives you a simpler template to work with than the Dawn theme. That's been my experience as le at least is that it comes preloaded, designed a little bit more how I would prefer it. So not as many things need to be edited. So I really like that about the color block theme. The Dawn theme wasn't necessarily my style, the way that I would design a website you know, from scratch. And so I like the color block theme just because I don't have to put as much time and work into it. Over on the product page, one of the things I wanna point out are the image styles. Now this is one thing that's always hotly debated inside our program and uh, people are always having questions about it and wanting to change it. And so color block actually offers a lot of different options when it comes to these thumbnails and images. So over here on the right, we see desktop layout. Right now it's set on stacked and you can kind of see what that looks like. If we change it over to two columns, you'll see it change just like that, which is cool. We can change it to thumbnails and you'll see the small thumbnails at the bottom, the big thumbnail up top. We can change it to thumbnail carousel and that will change it a little bit as well. We can also change the desktop media size. We can make these a little bit smaller. I love how customizable this is, how you can really get it dialed in to how you like it. And we even have our mobile layout right here. So if we change it over to the mobile view, which as you know, is very, very important when it comes to uh, designing your website, you wanna pay really close attention to that mobile view. We also have some options here on the, uh, on the mobile view, right? We can, we can show all of the thumbnails or we can hide the thumbnails or we can even have two columns like that. So you can really, you can really get pretty specific with how you want this to look. And I love that about this theme. Another thing that's not specific to this theme, but another thing I, I love about the new themes and the new editor is that on the product page, we can add additional sections and addi additional elements um, that we couldn't add in the old editor. This makes our product pages like really customizable. We can really set them up exactly how we want. And I wanna show you two things really quickly. The first thing is, all of these elements here are movable, which is really cool. If we wanted our variant picker to be at the top, we could just move it up to the top. If we wanted our title to be down here, we could just move it down. I mean, it's pretty cool what you can do with this editor and moving things around and making them just super customized. Another thing we can do to customize it is we can add and delete additional sections. So if you remember, if you ever used the old Shopify editor, uh, the product page pretty much was what it was. Like there wasn't much you could do with it except for you could add additional apps that would add some different things. But now without adding addi any additional apps, we can like fully customize this product page. So if I go down to this section right here and I wanna delete this section, I just hit the remove section button uh, and I can remove this, this additional section. I can pretty much edit everything that I want. So in addition to that, I can add sections if I want. So if I wanted to add you know, a review section, I could add a review section. If I wanted to add any of these different things here, maybe an email sign up or maybe a banner there, if I wanna add a certain banner, I could do all of that here. And I just really love that Shopify has added this functionality so that you're not stuck with just a simple basic product page. You can really customize it to your liking. So in my opinion, if you have a Shopify store and you're selling t-shirts, apparel, maybe doing print on demand, I definitely would give the color block theme a try. It's currently my favorite free theme and it's 
it's been awesome to use so far. So I definitely recommend that you go check it out. It's completely free. Go to themes.shopify.com, check out that theme, install it in your store, maybe play around with it a little bit. I think you might like it. If you find this content helpful, would you mind doing me just one quick favor and hitting that like button? That helps us get this content out to more people that need this kind of help. And consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon to get notified when new videos release. See you soon.